All right, we're going to do a tomato review today on the tomato you see right here, and I believe you pronounce this name as Versalki. I think that's how you say it. It's another language, so it might be pronounced something weird. So, so anyway, here it is, and I cut one open for you, and give you an idea on what the size of the tomato looks like first, and all that kind of good stuff. So you can see it's a small slicer. That's nice. A little bigger than a Campari sized tomato. So it's a small slicer, slightly flattened, as you can see, slightly flattened. And um, nice deep orange color. And the inside has a very uniform look to it, commercially. I used to often bring point out to the fact that uh, generally with commercial tomatoes, they're very uniform. You don't see any wilding in the rinds. You won't see generally any of the spots or anything in there. And uh, usually the insides are all pink and uniform. But when you see like the insides are kind of still on the green side, they will turn red eventually. But you can see some of the wilding in, in around the little spots. I'm not sure if you could pick that up on there. Um, that's generally not a commercial grade tomato. And it hasn't been bred for that purpose. So this is probably a maybe a Russian heirloom or some. Something maybe from the Baltics. I'm not offhand. I don't know what country it is. Again, I leave all the information in the description. And you can read about it down there. And uh, do a little of your own research if you want. But let's get right into the... Let's get right into doing the um, bricks test here. The first thing you want to do is cut a piece of this off. So we don't squeeze the whole tomato all over the place. See how watery that is? It's a mess. See, the seeds get all over. You got to make sure that the liquid's uniform. And then let's give it a look. Okay, this one's a little on the low side, guys. That's a little bit disappointing. It's a little bit above four on the bricks. So for a tomato like this, a little anything below five in general is generally not sweet but that doesn't mean that the tomato is not going to taste any good it just means that you're not going to have a whole lot of sugar in this one so that might be my own fault but I'm not sure but it's it's in a four range and that's that that one's definitely gonna make my mouth pucker i got a feeling all right so let's give that a go let's cut this one open and see that one may not have been totally ripe that's a kind of an unfair. Now you can see that the inside of this one is uh, much more uniform. It almost looks commercial, to be honest with you. But let's uh, take a quick test on this one. That one was, you know, wasn't bad, but it, I just want to see if this one's a little riper. Yeah, same thing, same number. It didn't make a difference. It, this one I know is ripe all the way through, so. Let's, uh, let's cut a piece of that off and try that one. See if maybe the flavor is a little different or better. Or... Let's give that a go. And let's kind of go over what's going on here. All right, so moist uh, for sweetness was really low. I would definitely say on a scale of, uh, in, and in accordance with the, with the bricks meter, I would definitely say on the scale of uh, 1 to 50, 50 being super sweet, um, and zero being no sweetness at all. I would definitely put this somewhere around maybe 16 to 20, somewhere in that range. It was really kind of hard. There's different parts of the tomato is actually seemed a little bit sweeter than others, like the bottom and then the top I ate. And uh, it just seemed like the sweetness wasn't very even throughout the tomato. So that's why I'm saying between 16 and, and 20, 18 probably being right in the middle of there somewhere. So you probably could get away with saying... Uh, 18 on the sweetness. The tangy part, well, that wasn't too tangy. I'd say the tangy part was actually pretty nice. With the seeds, I'd say that was somewhere around 30% uh, on, on the tangy flavor. So it wasn't very well balanced. But the tangy part actually tasted pretty good. As far as the tomato flavor part of it, I would say that the tomato flavor was uh, was pretty good. It actually wasn't bad. Um, it had a nice, nice... Uh, carry through with the tomato flavor but it wasn't super prominent in other words so if you were to scale it from one to ten five being in the middle 
and one being the highest, I would probably say it was probably somewhere around a five. It was like it was like right in the middle of the scale. It wasn't like super strong, and it, it wasn't like under in any way. You could taste the tomato flavor it carried really carried through really nicely. And I ate it with the seeds and without the seeds. And I can really that I do that because I want to really see what the rind and everything tastes like. And you know, if the tomato flavor transcended into the rind, and a lot of times. Uh, it doesn't, and a lot of good tasting tomatoes, it doesn't transcend into the rind. So, um, in, in this particular case, um, the the flavor was slightly in the rind as well. So I was able to get that uh, that nice flavor um, out of the um, uh, the tomato itself. Now, I, did I mention moisture? Now, as far as the moisture goes, it was a very wet tomato. I'm going to put this up on a on a seven and a half range. One being the the uh, not seven and a half. One being the highest, ten being the lowest. I would definitely say this was like a three. I, I get them mixed up sometimes, which is the high end, the low end. I would say if I was to, I would say it was probably a three. Five being moisture is perfect in the middle of of the moisture. It's not dry and chalky, and it's not soaking wet. This was pretty wet. This was up there. This was above five. I'd say if you one would be like so wet, as soon as you touch it, it turns into a liquid mess that would be like a one or a zero uh this wasn't quite that bad this was like maybe um i'd say like a three or something like that uh it was getting close to the one area and i i would say it would probably be in it. so it was pretty moist it was nice wet tomato it's a nice tomato if you want to squeeze for juice for sure now last but not least the undertones this tomato did have some a uh, weird earthy type of undertones to it uh, it wasn't off-putting or anything, but there were some kind of earthy undertones. Now, in general, most of the time when you make sauce with these type of tomatoes, those undertones, they either don't transcend into your sauce or they do. So it's really hard to say if that undertone is going to go into the sauce. And if it does, I probably wouldn't necessarily say it would be the best sauce tomato, only because the undertone is a little on the earthy side. And it was, you know, not off-putting, but I don't know. I don't know if I would want to make sauce necessarily with it, per se. But it's a great slice of tomato if you want to use it for that. It's a great salad tomato. It's perfect for that. Sauce, as far as that undertone part, nah, I don't know. It could have just been that one tomato or those two tomatoes. So you can't really go by the undertones. I just happened to pick it up in this review. And uh, we'll grow it out next year and see if those undertones are still there. If they aren't, well, then it's just part of the tomato variety. Because sometimes you get these weird undertones because of what you used in your soil or, you know, the way you're watering it or what you're fertilizing. Sometimes weird undertones can come about. So you just got to keep that in mind. But in this particular case, uh, there was something there. So I just needed to mention that. So, but that's really it. That's that's about all I can say about the uh, this variety of tomato. It's, again, it's called the Versalki tomato. I'm not, again, not sure what country it's from. Probably from the Baltic regions or maybe even Russia itself. I'll leave all that information in the description. You can pick up the seeds from hrseeds.com. I'll leave a link below in the description. Uh, it's going to take me a few days uh, to build the page, so you just got to be patient. It will come available you know within a few days to a week or so once i upload this video and then uh you'll be able to buy the seeds there for this variety all right so that's it that was your tomato review for the versalki tomato don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one take care